Today we are opening the Cozy Autumn Box from Unplugged Book Box. Not gonna lie, I mostly ordered this one because it said warm cozy blanket that's bookish inspired. I don't remember the book. I don't remember most of the themes of the box, but blanket. I think that they still have a blanket only sale going on on their website right now. So if you are interested in the blankets, you could check out the link below and uh, grab it for yourself. I might have to like <laughs> move the box. We have, oh, this is our spoiler card, Cozy Autumn Spoilers. And it's a pretty picture of just a, some tea pouring into a mug with a pumpkin. I'm not gonna look at it. Oh, we have some leaves, yay. I have bookshelf decor. Leaves. And our blanket is Our blanket, ah, okay, there might be scissors needed, but it has a tear here that refuses to tear. Okay, another library scene, like our tapestry thing. Ooh, it is soft, it's so soft. Our blanket has like a huge thing on this. It does look like a library because we have shelves down both walls. But it's like a long view of it because you can see the ceiling with the chandeliers hanging. And there's a crest at the top that looks vaguely familiar. The script looks elvish. And we still see our shield and sword and like the flower that was in um it was in another scene we got. Oh, it was in the diamond painting thing. That's the design from the diamond painting. What was that inspired by again? I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay. I don't want to look at the spoiler card yet, though. I don't I, don't, I love it. It's so soft. So soft. All right. And our next item is another trigger bowl or saucer. It could be a saucer. And it's got books all over it. It is red with an open book in the middle but all around the edges, it has different books. That's so cute. If it's a teacup saucer, that's good. But if it's a trinket tray, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these. And then we have a Nature's Whimsy Shower Gel, Cozy Autumn Afternoon. I can barely smell anything. The weather changed and my nose decided to, you know, to revolt. I don't know what it smells like. <laughs> I don't know what that smells like. Oh, duh, it's down there in orange. Vanilla bean, almond, caramel, coriander, ginger, bay leaf, clove, cinnamon, leather, amber, tonka, smoky woods, cashmere musks. That's a lot of smells. I feel like that's a lot of smells. And I guess no wonder I couldn't identify one specific scent there because that was a lot. Okay, sure. Oh, this has like little leafy things inside. Autumn hike, sage, clove, crunchy leaves. And this is a roll on perfume roller by Natural Pure Honest. And it's got different shades of maple leaves there from like when it's green in springtime as it's changing in the fall and becoming that orangey autumn color. And it's got different pieces of them inside too. That is adorable. I don't wonder what it smells like. Oh, my candle's open. The top was just off. It's all white and glittery and it has a wood wick. Cool. Blue Forest Black Moon. Cozy Season. Pumpkin, Caramel, and Spice. It gives off no distinct smell of which one is stronger here at the first snip. I guess when we light it, we should find out. Okay, I'm gonna leave this top like this so you can see the glitter. And our next box item. Oh, it's a 
does look like a little teacup. Okay, so that is a teacup saucer. And then we have a teacup. Bookshop. Oh! It's like a city scene. And then there's a tea place. Oh! So we see a tea store. And someone just leaning against a door frame. And then it's got a bookshop next to the tea store, and you can see the books through the glass windows. And a lady outside the bookshop. Oh, that's so cute. And, and it makes sense why our saucer just has books all over it. track your books of like that year. Oh look at this. This is so look at the cute fall wrapping papers. All the leaves. I don't get to see leaves like this that much here. We just have a lot of pine trees. And they just go a little brown and they fall and then they're just green still. Okay. The Ways We Hide by Christina McMorris. Interesting. A little girl sitting on luggage in front of a train, and then there's like the corner of a map. As a little girl raised amid the hardships of Michigan's copper country, Benna Voss learned to focus on her own survival. That ability sustains her even now as the Second World War rages in faraway countries. Though she performs on stage at the assist as the assistant to an unruly escape artist behind the curtain, she's the mastermind of their act. Ultimately, controlling her surroundings and eluding traps of every kind helps her keep a lingering trauma at bay. Yet for all her planning, Finna doesn't foresee being called upon by the British military intelligence. Tasked with designing escape aids to thwart the Germans, MI9 seeks those with specialized skills for a war nearing its breaking point. Finna reluctantly joins the unconventional team as an inventor. But when a test of her loyalty draws her deep into the fray, she discovers no mission is more treacherous than escaping one's past. Who is this inspired by stunning true accounts? That's really cool. And a hardback is this nice, lovely, muted blue teal shade. I will say that this is a very chunky fiction book. I think this, once I get to reading this, this will be like the longest fiction fiction book that I have read in a while. And we got like bold looking style playing cards on the back. The book sounds like it's going to be very atmospheric and like really get you into the cold and the fall vibes. So I love this box. I love getting the new blanket and our fall scents and just everything that's going to make us ready to be in this fall season, you know, where it's supposed to be colder. Not where the weather's supposed to get back into the 80s, you know, by the end of the week. But that's where I live and that's just what it does. It's very, very temperamental in its adhering to the seasons. Spoiler card time. The cozy tea set was designed by Veronica Lex GM for this box and it features the tea so shop scene. Uh, the cozy autumn library blanket. It was designed also by Veronica Lex GM, and it features a library on a cozy autumn day. Look for subtle hints of fall throughout. There are subtle Easter eggs for Lord of the Rings, Beauty and the Beast, Snow White, Game of Thrones, Narnia, Aragon, and Bridgerton. I knew that looked like Elvish. Uh, the cozy autumn candle uh, was made by Blue Forest Black Moon for this box. And the autumnal shower gel was Nature's Whimsy. And the perfume roller was Natural Pure Honest. And then the Ways We Hide by uh, Christina McMorris. It actually does not say that. And it was released by Sourcebooks on September 6th. And they say it was a beautiful read that you will love getting cozy with this fall. So. 
This is a very cute seasonal box. I really like it. I mostly like my blanket. Though a new teacup is nice and pretty. And it's not themed in any way. It is just bookish themed. So I think that's going to go perfect on the shelf. Maybe to actually use. It's probably too pretty to use. Let me know down below what your favorite item in the box was. Mine right now is definitely going to be the blanket. It's so soft. I can't wait to wash it and wrap up in it and just enjoy my books. Definitely want to light the candle too and see what it smells like. Maybe it'll help definitely with our uh, TBR book vibes because it's supposed to be, you know, pumpkin-y and autumn-y. It'll help get us in the mood for spooky season. If you haven't already, you can check out my October TBR and see all the spooky reads I'm reading. This book, I think, will go in the running for November, though. If you guys enjoyed this video, please check out some of my other ones, like the TBR, and um, consider subscribing if you haven't. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!